Hi, welcome back to Recitation. In lecture, you've been learning about line integrals of vector fields. And I have a couple of problems here. Well, one problem here that requires you to do two integrals of vector fields, line integrals of vector fields, um, on that subject. So OK, so um, in both problems, f is going to be the vector field uh, whose coordinates are x, y, and x squared plus y squared. And c is going to be the arc of the parabola y equals x squared that starts at the point 1, 1 and ends at the point 2, 4. All right? So what I'd like you to do is to compute the integral over this curve c of f dot dr in two different ways. So the first time, I'd like you to use sort of the natural parameterization, x equals t, y equals t squared. So that for me, at least, that's the first parameterization that I think of when, when I think about this curve. But I'd also like you to do it again using a different parameterization, using the parameterization x equals e to the t, y equals e to the 2t. So this still parameterizes the curve uh, y equals x squared, since e to the t squared equals e to the 2t. Um, so yes, so uh, why don't you pause the video, have a go at, at computing this integral, both of, both of using these two different parameterizations. Come back, and we can work it out together. So let's get started. We want to compute a line integral of a, of a vector field f. Um, so we know that the integral over a curve c of f dot dr, well, usually we write f equals mn. The, the two components are, are m and n. So in this case, this is going to be equal to the integral over c of m dx plus n dy. Now, in our case, we know what f is. We know that f is the vector field x, y, x squared plus y squared. So this is equal to the integral over c of x, y, dx plus x squared plus y squared dy. And now we just need to plug in, in our two different cases, into our, our parameterizations. And this will turn into an integral that we can evaluate. So let's. Let's have a look-see. Um, so on our first parameterization over here, we want to have x going from, uh, sorry, x equals t and y equals t squared. And we want this parameterization to go from the points 1, 1 to the point 2, 4. So that means that t, x, t is going from 1 to 2. OK, so, um, so in this case, all right, so in part, well, the first part, um, so this is equal, in a, so I'm going to just write equals and continue on. Um, so in this first part, so t is our parameter, and it's going from 1 to 2. So xy is going to be t times t squared, and dx is dt. And then plus, OK, so x squared plus y squared is t squared plus t to the fourth. And dy is times 2t dt, since y is t squared. All right, so this is our integral. And now it's straightforward to compute this. It's you know a line, uh, sorry, a single variable integral of a polynomial. So OK, so we might have some fraction arithmetic in our future, but, but not, nothing horrible. So let's, um, let's collect our dt's. So this is the integral from 1 to 2. So here I've got 2t cubed plus 2t to the fifth. And here I have t cubed. So that's 3t cubed plus 2t to the fifth dt. OK, and so now we have to evaluate. So this is equal to, let me just continue it. So 3t cubed, that's, oh, so it becomes t to the fourth over 4. So it's 3t to the fourth over 4 plus 2t to the fifth becomes a t to the sixth over 6, 2t to the sixth over 6. So that's plus t to the sixth over 3 between t equals 1 and 2. And let me just bring that computation up here. So that's equal to, well, OK, so 3 times 16 over 4 plus 64 over 3 minus, minus, what is it, 3 
fourths plus one third. OK, and now we got to work this out. So this is maybe 12, and the thirds give me 21. So that's 33 minus 3 quarters. So that's 32 and 1 quarter, or you know, 129 over 4, if you prefer. OK, so that's, that's going to be our, our answer there. Um, so now let's go back and do it again using this alternate parameterization. So in this alternate parameterization, we had x equal e to the t and y equal e to the 2t. So in that case, that means that dx, well, so x is e to the t, y is equal to 2t. So our integral that we want, let me rewrite it. Well, actually, let me not rewrite it. Let me just go back here and take a look at it. So we want the integral of f dot dr. And we know that that's equal to the integral over c of x, y, dx plus x squared plus y squared dy. So x is e to the t, y is e to the 2t. So that means dx is going to be e to the t dt. And dy is going to be 2 e to the 2t dt. So OK, so we'll just have to plug these things in. So our integral, maybe I'll give it a name, what we want, what we want, w, 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 what we want is equal to, so it's the integral of, well, we start plugging in. So x, y, dx is e to the t times e to the 2t times, we said dx is e to the t dt plus, now x squared plus y squared, so that's e to the 2t, that's x squared plus e to the 4t, that's y squared times 2e to the 2t dt. That's dy. Whew, OK. Um, but this integral is missing something, right? Because it, it needs to be a, a definite integral. Right now, I've written down an indefinite integral. So that's a problem. So we need to think, OK, so what are the bounds on this, on this curve? What, what are we integrating from and to? So let's go all the way back and look at the problem over here. So. This is the parameterization of the curve, and we need it to connect the points 1, 1, and 2, 4. So we need to know which value of t puts this, this parameterization at the point 1, 1, and which value of t puts it at the point 2, 4. Well, I think the easiest way to do that is to solve this, and we have t equals natural log of x. So natural log of 1 is 0. And natural log of 2 is natural log of 2. So OK, so we want t to go from 0 to natural log of 2, to go from this point to that one. OK, so 0 to natural log of 2. Let's remember that and come back over here and put that in. So the, what we want, this integral that we're trying to compute um, using this alternate parameterization is, all right, we've already written down what the integrand is. But it's going to be the integral from, we just said, from 0 to the natural log of 2. OK, great. So now let's take this integral and let's start simplifying it. Um, so let's see. This is an e to the t times e to the 2t times e to the t. So that's e to the 4t dt. And here we have, well, that looks like a 2e to the 4t plus 2e to the 6t dt. So if we combine like terms, we get the integral from 0 to natural log of 2. So we had an e to the 4t and a 2e to the 4t. So that's a 3e to the 4t plus a 2e to the 6t dt. OK, 3e to the 4t plus 2e to the 6t. OK, and this is also, you know, it's a different looking integral than the one we had before. But it's not a difficult one to evaluate because we're just, you know, it's just e to a constant times t dt. Pretty straightforward stuff, I think. Um, so what does it actually give us? Let me come up here and write it up here. So this is equal to, all right, integrate e to the 4t, and you get e to the 4t over 4. So this is 3 quarters e to the 4t plus 2 sixths. So that's plus 1 third e to the 6t. And we're evaluating that between 0 and ln 2. And I will leave it to you to confirm that what you get when you do this is you get exactly 129 over 4 when you plug in these values and 
take the difference. So one thing to notice here is that in this, doing it with the second parameterization, we got 129 over 4. Now if you look back just right here, you see that when we did it with the first parameterization, we also got 129 over 4. Now this is a general phenomenon, right? The parameterization doesn't change the value of the line integral. So when you have a line integral of a vector field, you can parameterize the curve that you're integrating over in a bunch of different ways. I mean, in fact, infinitely many different ways. There are all sorts of different choices. And they all give the same answer. They have to. So no matter what parameterization you choose, you get the same number out for the line integral over the same curve of the same vector field. All right. So what that means for you is that when you're given just a curve and a vector field, and you get to choose your parameterization, you should always just choose whatever the nicest one is, because it doesn't matter which one you choose, and there's no reason ever to choose anything harder than necessary. All right. So now, just uh, I want to quickly recap what we did. So we had a curve. We were given a curve and a vector field f, and we were asked to compute the the line integral of f dot dr, and we did it two different ways. So in both cases, we used the fact that f dot dr is m dx plus n dy. We wrote that out using the known values of m and n, using the known components of f. Um, and, we, and then we plugged in, in both cases, in this case, we, we used that first parameterization. And then over to my left, we used the se this second parameterization that I gave you. And in both cases, we re that reduced it to an to a integral in terms of a single variable t that was the parameter that we could compute. And, and the answer came out the same both times as it had to. Um, so you can also, one thing you can notice is if you compare this with the preceding lecture video, you'll see that this curve and vector field, it, they connect the same points, and it's the same vector field. And these answers both differ from both of the answers in the preceding uh, recitation video. Um, so this is further illustration that different curves can give you different values. But if you take the same curve, different parameterizations always have to give you same values for that, for that line integral of the same vector field. I'll end there. <laughs>